The machine is loaded and today's three players are primed and ready for action. So let's not hang about. This is Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players are facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Chloe, a singer from North Yorkshire. I'm Dan, a sales manager from South Wales. And I'm Wendy, a dental nurse from Birmingham. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those falls for you. It will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, then. Everybody ready? Yep. yep. Here comes your first question. Which vampire saga gave rise to a debate that saw fans support either Team Edward or Team Jacob? Wendy. Twilight. It was Twilight, yes. Team Edward or Team Jacob, Wendy. Now, would you like to play or pass? I think because we're right at the start, I'll oh, we'll pass to Chloe. Chloe down the end. You get to launch the machine. Come on, Chloe, let's get some money. Where should we start? Uh, drop zone one, please. Let's have drop zone one for Chloe. Yeah, don't forget it's you, Chloe, that's doing Sorry. it. <laughs> oh, just stays on its Thanks. edge, which is going to help you out, I think. Nice and flat there. What can we get over the top shelf here, Chloe? Maybe through the middle. Come there on. we go, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mystery's going to get a little nudge. Please, please. Oh. Sadly, those counters on the tipping point are going to stay where they are. Nothing from the first drop, I'm afraid. Here's your next question. Nano, shuffle, classic and touch. Chloe. iPod. Are all versions of which Apple device used to store and play music? They are iPods, Chloe, yes. Uh, now, would you like to return the favour or would you like to play? Ooh, I think I'll pass to Wendy, please. Right, then. Wendy, you get past this one. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go drop zone one, please, Ben. Let's have one. Oh, oh stays on its edge. Didn't want to settle, did it? Yeah. It is flat, though. That's nice. Now, can we get anything over the top? Or are you just going to slide into that gap, cool. Wendy? Good squeeze. Oh, oh no. did just slide into the gap. Nothing goes for you in your first drop, I'm afraid. Okay. Here comes your next question. Tampa Bay Lightning won the 2020 Stanley Cup in which ice-based sport? Chloe. Ice hockey. It is, yes. Uh, now, are you going to play or are you going to pass? Uh, I'll play on drop zone one, please. Drop zone one it is. So the top shelf is very full. Bottom shelf is two. Yeah, good settle there. Here's the top shelf going to go. Come on now. Oh, it is. This could be big, Chloe. Come on, Come on now. Very nice. Hey. Five counters. That's more like it, isn't it? Two hundred fifty pounds yeah. for you there, Chloe. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark with two hundred fifty pounds, Thank and you've you. still got one counter left to play. Here's your next question. In eighteen fifteen, at the Battle of Waterloo, which French emperor was defeated? Wendy. Nelson. French. Bonaparte. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was Napoleon Bonaparte, I'm afraid. Sorry. Which French emperor oh, yeah. was defeated by the Duke of Wellington? It wasn't Nelson Mundy, I'm afraid. We have to steal a counter from you. First boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> it's very easily done, oh. Wendy. That's gone into the penalty spot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one counter left to play, Wendy. You need to use it wisely. Here comes your next question. All named after people, the Dali, Zappa, and Fu Manchu are three specific styles of what type of facial hair? Wendy. Beard. No. No. They're moustaches, Wendy. Oh. You were very keen to get this counter, oh, clearly. Yeah. I can tell. Okay. I can't accept Let's beard, see. I'm afraid. I have to steal your last okay. counter. That's gone into the penalty pot. 
There's now two you'll all be playing for. For the time being, Wendy, that's all three of your counters used, so I'm afraid okay. you are out. So, Dan, you've still got all three of yours. Chloe, you've got one left to play. Here's your next question for Chloe and Dan. In April 2021, Arlene Foster announced she would be resigning as First Minister of which country of the UK? Dan. Northern Ireland. It is Northern Ireland, Dan. Yes, well done. Now, are you going to play, Dan? I think I'm going to go for Drop Zone 2, please, Ben. Drop Zone 2, let's do it. Settles pretty centrally. Well, it is flat, yes, now, as it comes forward. Can we get any action on the double? Not used drop zone two yet. Is it going to be ready for some action? Top shelf's working. What about the bottom shelf? No, nothing, Dan, sadly. So nothing from your first drop. Still got two left. Yeah. Next question for Chloe and Dan. What breed of terrier was developed by and takes its name from the Reverend John Russell... Dan. Jack Russell. In the 19th century. It is a Jack Russell, yes. You're going to go straight back in, Dan? I'm going to go straight back for drops on two, I think, Ben. Yep. Two again, please. Oh, Quick drop. Perfect. Very hectic. Settle, settle yeah. there. And a couple over the top shelf. Is this that. going to unlock it for you, Dan? Oh, just the one that sneaks in. It's OK. Would have liked to seen a few more, but one did drop, though, so let's take that £50 and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £50 with one counter still to play. Next question for Chloe and Dan. Constant nuclear fission produces the light and heat of which star at the centre of our solar system? Chloe. The sun? It is the sun, Chloe, yes. Uh, right, Chloe, are you going to play? I think I'll play, please. Yep. Um, drop zone two. Let's have drop zone two. Dan's done all the heavy lifting here. Can you get the benefit, Chloe? Ooh. Quite far right. What do you think, Chloe? Yeah, a bit too far. A couple over the top. Come on. Move. Oh, there Whoa. you go. They were very ready to go. <laughs> just let that shelf come forward. Because that one silver count's just riding. Anything else going to go? Just going to sit there. Six counters for you there, Chloe, including the one that jumped out of the machine. Well done. Nice finish. £300. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And leave you on £550. That's all three of your counters used. So for the time being, you are out. Dan, it's just you. Because it's just you. Don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. OK. Here we go, then, Dan. Here comes your last question. Which rock band had a UK top 20 hit in 1978 with the song Bicycle Race? Yes. It's not Kiss, no. It's Queen. It was Queen. Uh, Dan had to steal that last counter from you. That's gone into the penalty spot. So, as things stand, Chloe has £550, Dan has £50, when he's got nothing in the bank. But it's not over, because we have three counters up for grabs in the penalty spot. So I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give you the correct answer, you put all three counters into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right then, Wendy, you're currently in last okay. place. You want to turn that round? Let's see if we can get the right answer to this question. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your fantasy pot question. How many vowels are there in the word witchcraft? <laughs> Chloe. Two. There are two vowels, yes. W-I-T-C-H-C-R-A-F-T. -C -C Just the I and the A. Well done, Chloe. All three of these are yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Where do you want to start? Drop zone one, please. Let's do it. Let's have drop zone one, please. Very quick drop. Couple over the top. Nicely, they separate two, so you get a double shove here. Lovely. Very nice. That's okay. a great first drop, Chloe. Well done. Thank you. Six counters there, Chloe. £300. Thank you. Still got two more to go in as well. Where would you like to go next? Uh, drop zone two, please. Let's go for two. Get that double moving forward, maybe. On that side, yep, there we go. Nicely done. Couple going over the top, maybe. Come on. Yes. Yeah. And what a drop with the double as well. <laughs> You're running away with this already, Chloe. Wow. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> 12 more for you there, Chloe, which is £600. That in itself is a cracking drop, but we can double it up and give you another £600. Oh, 
Have a look at that. Up to wow. 1,500. And if that wasn't enough, you've still got one more to put in as well. Oh, gosh. Where um, should we go with this one? Let's try drop zone one, please. Drop zone one? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one, please. It's another little cluster just where that mystery yeah. is. Hands down over on the right. Mm. Anything coming through here? Yeah, any water. Mm. Finally, oh. much to the relief of Dan and Wendy, <laughs> <laughs> you draw a blank. Let's say that £1,500, Chloe, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, goodness me, Chloe has £2,050. Wow. Just ahead of Dan on £50, <laughs> who is just ahead of Wendy with nothing in the bank. So join us oh. after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head in -head a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Chloe, Dan and Wendy are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Chloe, you have a slim lead over the other two, <laughs> which means you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Is the machine ready? Or would you like to ask Dan or Wendy to play? I think I will pass to Dan, please. Right then, Dan, you're up first. 45 you... seconds for you here. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? OK. 45 seconds, Dan, please. Your time starts now. Elected for the first time in 1789, George Washington was the first president of which country? United States. Correct. On a standard Scrabble board, what primary colour are the triple letter score squares? Red. Blue. In February 2021, which online fashion company bought the brands Topshop and Miss Selfridge? Uh -huh. ASOS. In Norse mythology, which god is sometimes referred to as the raven god? Pass. Odin. In football, the abbreviation OG typically stands for own what? Goal. Correct. Eye of the Tiger by Survivor is a theme song from which Sylvester... Rocky. Correct. What is the longest and widest nerve in a typical human body? Pass. Sciatic. Which element of the periodic table has the atomic number three and the lowest density of all the metals? Iron. It's lithium. Lithium, Dan. Three correct answers in there. You jumped in on your rocky answer, you got that right. Eye of the Tiger by Survivor is a theme song from which Sylvester Stallone film series. And of course, you were spot on when you said rocky. Now, what sort of punches can we land in the machine here, Dan? Drops on one. OK, let's have drops on one, please. Slides and settles nice. Let's bring that little cluster down in the middle. Oh, just a little tweak of that silver one. Oh, they're all moving laterally. You got them in the end. Nice. Six across the tipping point. Nice first drop for you, Dan. £300. One of them is a mystery prize as well, of course. You've won yourself a 12-month indoor plant delivery subscription courtesy of Bloombox Club. Perfect. Love you, sir. Uh, where would you like to go with the next counter? Drop zone three this time. OK, so drop zone three this time, please. over on the right there. What do you think, Dan? Uh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Nothing coming out just yeah. here. So one more to go in. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try the same. I'm going to go drop some three again. Drop some three again, yeah. please. Anything else out? Just to put a bit more pressure on Wendy. Very handy. Ooh, that could bring the mystery forward. Yes, it does. Here's the tipping point, ready. It's a bit reticent here. And it is a bit reticent. Mm, they're going to stay, unfortunately. But £300 isn't bad for your first drop. Let's put it into your bank, Dan. And that's going to leave you on £350. <laughs> so, Chloe, back to you. So you can choose to play next or you could ask Wendy to play. Uh, I think I'll ask Wendy to play, please. OK. 45 seconds for Wendy, please. Your time starts now. In 2020, Sue Barker stepped down as host of BBC panel show A Question of What? Sport. Correct. Which Australian state is named after the Dutch navigator and explorer Abel Tasman? Tasmania. Correct. Tonkatsu is a Japanese breaded dish traditionally made using which meat? Chicken. Pork. Weird is a 2020 UK number one album by which singer-songwriter? A cheering. Youngblood. The British short hair is a breed of which domesticated feline animal? Cat. Correct. 
classical, romantic and belle are all types of which layered frilly skirt typically worn by female ballet dancers? Tutu. Correct. According to the Bible, in John chapter 11, who did Jesus raise from the dead? Lazarus. Correct. The Pale Horseman and the Lords of the North are novels by which historical fiction author? Pass. Bernard Cornwall. Good old Bernie Cornwall. Uh, five correct answers, Wendy. Thank you. You didn't need that last one. That's a really good response. You got your Lazarus question. We could do with a comeback like Lazarus oh, here, Wendy. Yes, I know. Quite frankly, to put any pressure on Chloe. First challenge for you, though, is to catch Dan. Now, he's okay. seven counters ahead of you, so where would you like to start? I'd like to go drop zone three. Right, drop zone three. Slides down that left-hand side. Couple coming over the edge there. Yep, there we go. Are they going to spread for you as they spin round? Ooh, oh, just okay. filling the tipping point. So nothing from that one. Drop zone three again, please, Bing. Three again, please. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Just yeah, slower on the descent, and it stayed on its edge. It is flat though. <sighs> Good. Now, is that going to help you, or is it just going to split these counters? Come on, now. Mm, bit of a split, oh. wasn't it, really? So you've put two in. Nothing's out just yet, Wendy. Okay. Just building them nicely. Three again? Yes, please. Three up, please. Come on, now. You've got your ghost drop there. Just held onto it. Dragged it over to the right-hand side. Ew, it's flat it, as well. Exactly. Surely this time something's going over the top. Still looking for those seven counters to catch Dan. Still looking for your first counters out of the machine, Wendy. Yes. This Very good, so a little bit on the bank. There we go. Oh, that'll do it. Including the one that jumped out of the machine. That's 11 across the tipping point. Finally, we got you some money. Well done. £550. That no, also it... means, Dan, we're going to be losing you at the end of the round, I'm afraid. Yeah. Okay. Two more to go in, though, Wendy. Okay, I think I'll try. Drop zone four. Drop zone four, please. Be flat for you here, Wendy. Oh, I hope, hope so. Yes, it is. Oh, good. Now, as it comes forward, the tipping point looks strong, particularly on this side, doesn't it? It does. A couple over the top it's shelf. Oh. Okay. One more dropped in there. Another fifty okay. pounds. Six hundred pounds in the machine now. I know. I'll go drop zone four again, please, Ben. Okay. Drop zone four for one last time. It looks pretty good now, Wendy. Let's see what we can get yeah, this time. I'm a little bit better now. Hammers down the left hand side. Anything going over the top? Down there. Yep, there's a couple for you there. Anything here? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh dear. And one more drips in at the end there. Just another £50. Pounds. Takes you to £650 in the machine. Let's put that into your bank. Thank you. And that's where you're going to finish, Wendy, so well done to you. Right, 45 seconds for Chloe, please. The time starts now. The actor who played the central role in the Spaghetti Western Dollars trilogy of films is Clint who? Eastward. Correct. What Latin word, meaning of the king, follows lime to give the name of a Dorset seaside town? Scale. Regis. <laughs> in 2015, Louisa Johnson became the youngest ever winner of which ITV talent show? X Factor. Correct. Which American author wrote the 2009 novel Dark Places? Pass. Gillian Flynn. The surface on which lawn bowls is typically played shares its name with which secondary colour? Green. Correct. Which of the big four fashion weeks is not held in a European city? Milan. New York. The most northerly species of penguin inhabit and share their name with which group of islands in the Pacific Ocean? Pass. The Galapagos Islands. Oh. Uh, Chloe, well done for keeping your focus. Thank you. Uh, those few counters, very frustratingly, fell in as we just started. Sadly, they will have to be voided from the machine because they've fallen in out of play. You've got three correct answers in there, Chloe. Thank you. What Latin word, meaning of the king, follows lime to give the name of a Dorset seaside town? Lime scale. Lime scale. Is a brilliant <laughs> answer. <laughs> it's lime regis. Uh, I don't get out of Yorkshire much, so... <laughs> Let's see what we can do with these three counters. Yep. Very generously. Wendy has left a fair few on the tipping point for you. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> You're welcome. <Claire. laughs>
Jump zone four? Uh, yes, drop zone four, please. Let's have four, please. Oh, just reversed on you. It's not going to take much, is it? No, to hopefully shift not. That tipping point. I think that might ride, though. Oh, no, you got it flat. Oh, it's OK. God. <laughs> Anything going over here? Come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. three. There you go. This could do it. Wait. And it does. 13 counters right there. A lot of hard work went into that, Chloe. 650 pounds. Well done. Thank you. Right, two more to go. Um, can we go drop zone three, please? You can. Drop zone three, please. Yep, that should take that stack out yeah, nicely. Yep, straight down the middle. Tipping point's a bit more sparse, though, isn't it? What's, yeah, what's it's going a little to happen bit. here? A couple more drop in, though. Yeah, Let's give you another two. Fine. Takes you to £750. And one more to go in, then, Chloe. Thank you. Can we go drop zone two, please? We're going for drop zone two this yeah, time, please. Yeah, why not? Mm. Quite central. Yeah. In terms of setting. And oh. those two are going to stay perched on the edge. So you draw a blank with that last mm. counter. But let's take the £750, Chloe, and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Chloe is on £2,800, just ahead of Wendy, who has £650. <laughs> Sadly, Dan, that means with £350, we have found your tipping point. Of course, you have won your indoor plant subscription, Dan. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing. It's fine. Thanks a lot, Ben. It's been great. Good stuff. Uh, so it is Chloe and Wendy who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance for an amazing cash prize. For £16,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIND to 6339, text cost £1.50, plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50, plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP226, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, uh, Chloe and Wendy. Well done to both of you for getting this far. Thank We're you. about to find out which one is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. Although, to be fair, Wendy, there's been some mountains that have had to be climbed in this round. I'm not sure anyone's had one quite as big as yours. Uh, <laughs> because, Chloe, £2,800 is a huge amount of money. Very well done. Thank you. Wendy, we're going to need a bit of a miracle. OK, I believe in miracles, Ben. Two right. There is still that double over there on the top shelf of Drop Zone 4. If we get that down into play, who knows? Anything could happen. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can okay. choose to play, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Uh, so, Chloe, as you're leading, you get to choose. Would you like to play first, or would you like to ask Wendy to take the first question? I think I'll play, please. OK, first one for you, then, Chloe. Which fictional character was born John Clayton and raised by apes in the African jungle? You can play this or you can pass it to Wendy if you're not sure. I think I'll play, please. You're going to go for it? I'll okay. try. So what are you thinking? Tarzan. You're going with Tarzan. OK, Wendy, if this one had been passed over? I would have said that. You'd have gone Tarzan have too? Tarzan. Let's yeah. see if you're right then. The fictional character born John Clayton, raised by apes in the African jungle, was it Tarzan? Yes, oh. of course it was. <laughs> My son loves Tarzan. It's his ah, favourite film. There so you I'm go. glad we got that right. That's got that for one Scotty. For Just for Scotty. Well done, you. <laughs> right, where should we get you some money then? Uh, drop zone three, please. Let's have drop zone three. <laughs> go, nice. Good position. Yeah. Hope you'll bring that black counter down. And the one next to it. Yes, it does. Ooh. Is there anything going through? Ooh, three oh, counts drop nice. in. The mystery gets closer. £150 for you there, Chloe. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £2,950. Right then, Wendy, we come to you. Time for your first question. In 1977, the World Snooker Championships were held in which Sheffield theatre for the first time? 
Are you past, interested? I, I, past, I, I, I'm trying to think, because I was born in Sheffield and you would think I would know yes. the theatres in it, but I did move when I was four, so <laughs> I probably didn't. <laughs> but my mum and dad with me. I didn't you move might on not me. have been paying attention. No, I don't think I was, so I'm going to pass this to All Chloe. Right. Chloe, do you like your snooker? Um, no, but I'm from Yorkshire, near Sheffield, yeah. <laughs> so um, I know two of the theatres there. I'm thinking either Lyceum or Crucible. Um, I think I'm going to go for Crucible. You're going to go with the Crucible? Yeah. OK. I hope so. Wendy, does that ring any bells? I think she's right. As soon as I heard Crucible, I thought, it's a Crucible. <laughs> Let's see if you are right. It's a great answer if you are, Chloe. Is it Crucible? Yeah, Ooh, absolutely. Well done, Chloe. <laughs> They'd never let me back in Yorkshire yeah, if I got no. that one. Another yeah. good answer for you. Another counter, so the chance to get some more money. Where should we go this time? Drop zone two, please. OK, drop zone two it is. Yeah. Now, what can the top shelf do for you here? Mm, not much, I don't think. Ah, oh, maybe. Oh. Couple here. Anything on the tip point? Come on. No, oh. sadly not. But you keep control, Chloe. Time for your second question. In 2021, which American singer released the single Cover Me in Sunshine with her daughter, Willow Sage Hart? Cover Me in Sunshine. Ring any bells? Yeah, it does, but I'm not 100% sure, so I think I will pass to Wendy. Wendy. Oh. So an American singer released a single with her daughter, Willow Sage Hart. Cover me in sunshine. Does that ring any bells? Oh, I'm racking my brains here. I can't even... Taylor Swift. I will go. Taylor Swift? I think I will go Taylor Swift. OK. If Taylor Swift released a single with her daughter, that would be impressive. That would be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chloe, who might you have gone with? I think it might be Pink. Think it might be Pink? Yeah, but you, I wasn't quite sure. You didn't sure. want to take the risk? Let's yeah. see if Wendy's right. Cover me in sunshine. Was it by Taylor Swift and her daughter? No. Do you know, it was pink, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> so oh, well, didn't... you got it anyway. Yeah, so she, she got, got it anyway. Yeah. That was another correct answer, I Chloe. Didn't know Going that. along very nicely. So where should we put this one? Um, I think I'm going to try and get that uh, double counter off that top shelf. OK. So drop zone four, please. Let's have four. Ooh, it's not far away, is it? Mm. Nearly there. Get a bit of a squeeze through it. There you go, yeah. Double is down. Yeah. It's going to go forward. Not much on the tipping point at the moment. That's been rinsed. Yeah. OK. So, when did we come to you? Time for your second question. OK. The 2020 film Mank, directed by David Fincher, focuses on the origins of which classic Hollywood film? Classic Hollywood film. Have you heard of Mank at all? I haven't heard of it at all, Ben. I'm trying to rack mm. my brain, so... I've... You can pass uh, it, of course, if you're not yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, Chloe, I'm going to have to pass to you. Do you know? I can't even think of one. <laughs> um, the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz? I know it's wrong, but... Well, it's a classic Hollywood film, though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if Mank was based on... Chloe's hoping The Wizard of Oz. If not, Wendy, you finally got a counter. Is the answer The Wizard of Oz? It's wow. Citizen Kane. Oh, oh Citizen yeah, Kane. Citizen Kane. Oh. My partner would have known that. He's so good with films. Wow. He'd be, people are going mad when he watches. Fortunately, it. you didn't need to know because no. finally we yeah. found a claw in Chloe's knowledge. First one yet, but where would you like to put this counter? I think I'll go three. Job zone three. Let's do yes. it. All right, please. Please. Hmm. A bit too oh, far no, left, too maybe, far for the mystery. Yeah. Is it going to be flat? Yes. Yeah. Might get a silver one down through the middle, which could yeah. do something if it squeezes far enough, or it might not. Sadly, They're nothing not from that one. No, they aren't. It's no. not been your day. Chloe, let's come back to you. Time for your third question. 2020 marked the 200th anniversary of the discovery of which continent? Mm, well, I know there's seven continents. I hope that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> So it would just be a guess out of the seven. So I think I'll pass over to Wendy. OK, so Wendy. Do you know, Ben, I'm going to go Australia. Australia? Yeah, I think I'll go Australia. I don't know why. Chloe, which would you have gone with, do you think? Uh, 200 years is not too long ago, so I'm maybe thinking Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah. OK, Wendy, let's see. Is the answer Australia? No, it was Antarctica. Oh. It was Antarctica. Good pass in the end. 
Uh, Wendy was wrong. Chloe, you get to put the count into the machine. Thank Where you. We go? Drop zone four, please. Four again, please. Yeah. Drops over on the left. Yeah, wrong side. Oh, well. Come on. And they're going to go, oh, mystery, get a little nudge. Mm, no. Just fills the gaps. <laughs> OK, let's come back to you, Wendy. Time for your third and final question. What is the name of the letter that immediately follows gamma in the Greek alphabet? I'm having to think it's alpha, beta. I can't remember what this, the C would be. Delta. I think it might be epsilon. Epsilon? Yes. OK, go on with yeah. epsilon. You could have passed this over. Chloe, did you have any ideas? No idea. <laughs> None whatsoever. No. OK, if you are right, Wendy, You've got one last counter, and okay. we only need 46 to catch it. <laughs> Easy peasy, just bring it on. If you're wrong, then, Chloe, you're playing for our jackpot. Is the letter Epsilon? No, oh, it's not. No. It was Delta. It goes Alpha, Beta, Beta. Gamma, Delta, oh. Epsilon. You were very close, yeah. Wendy, very nearly there. Never mind. Just got them the wrong way around, so I'm yeah. afraid that means we are going to be losing you. Chloe, congratulations. Thank you. It has been a procession and you've done it beautifully. <laughs> uh, and you are going to be playing for our jackpot. You've got one more count to put into the machine Whoa. before we get onto the jackpot, though, so where should we put it? Thank you. Um, drop zone one, please. Let's have drop zone one. Yeah, why not? Thank you. Yeah, settles on the right. Anything going over the top? No. Oh, it's just oh, well. going to position itself. Is it going to hold on? I think it's being pinned, isn't it? Yeah, that, that I think counter. I've got enough anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> so at the end of the round, our winner with £2,950 is Chloe. Very well played, Chloe. Thank you. You've played a really extraordinary game. Wendy, I am so, so sorry. You just Never come up against game. somebody who got yeah. drops every time she went to the machine oh, no. and answered some <laughs> great questions. I'm afraid that with £650, we have found your tipping point, Wendy. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Ben. And, Chloe, I hope you win. Thank you. <laughs> right then, Chloe, we've had more or less every other count out on the machine. <laughs> but this is the important one, the big Ooh. jackpot counter. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put it in there, and this one is so much better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Oh. Can Chloe master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £16,000... Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIND to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP226, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Chloe is our winner today and has played a sensational game, <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> £2,950. Yeah. People leave with a lot less than that. It's just been sensational. Very well done. Thank you. I'm not uh, quite sure how it happened. Well, you've but... entertained us. You've entertained us and the machine. Professionally, you work as a singer, is that right? I do, yes. But is it a specific era that you sing? Yeah, the uh, wartime era, as you can maybe tell. Lovely. How <laughs> did you get into that? Um, my grandmother, she sells militaria, so I've got quite an interest in um, history. Hopefully no questions come up to test me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just love the era and the music and the fashion. Fantastic. Well, you look stunning. Thank and you. And you've obviously charmed our machine, because £2,950, honestly, it's really, really sensational. However, it means nothing, because actually what we want to send you home with is £10,000 and our jackpot today. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the jackpot if we get it out? Well, I'm a professional singer, so I always need new equipment and new costumes uh, to do my gigs, so that's where the money would go. Fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, fingers crossed we get you that jackpot counter and you can spend it on improving and making the experience all the better for yeah. your viewers and your fans. So best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Chloe's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, it's even get to drop with the double counter that's over there in drop zone four. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the 
better your chance of getting the jackpot counter out. Yeah. So, what are you thinking then, Chloe? Where are we going to put the jackpot counter? I think I might put it with the double counter. So, yeah, drop zone four, please. Right up four yeah. for us, please. Right then, Chloe, you put it in right. when you're ready. Thank you. Lies That's out, a big doesn't one, it? Aren't it? Comes out. <laughs> All guns blazing. Yeah. There we go. So, right, doubles okay. just yeah, going to slide it's gonna forward. Be front, isn't it? We'll take those three counters. One hundred fifty pounds takes us over three grand. Three thousand one hundred pounds. The jackpot count is nice and tight on the right hand side of drop zone four. Right. Let's have a look at your subjects. This is what we've got for you: music, astronomy, literature, sport, politics, and TV. You can play them in any order. Okay. So where do you want to start with how many counters? I think we'll just go top to bottom. Uh, three counters, please, for music. Right. Music for three, please. In February 2021, which American rock band released their 10th studio album featuring the single Shame Shame? Foo Fighters, Kings of Leon, or Red Hot Chili Peppers? Ooh, my career's on the line here as a singer. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't think it'll be Kings of Leon. They're quite a newer band, maybe not had as many albums. OK. Um, shame Shame. I think I'll go with the Foo Fighters. Foo please. Fighters? Yeah. Okay, we're going to yeah. go with the Foo Fighters, please. So, February 2021, the American rock band that released their 10th studio album featuring the single Shame Shame. Was it the Foo Fighters? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well done. So, three counters for you. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Yeah, why not? Let's do four. Yeah. Right. Not on the right, sadly. Let's see. There we go. Tracks right, isn't it? A little squeeze. Yeah. Can we get a few over there to the go. Maybe that's the Yeah, we can. Up. Three counters, 150 pounds. Thank you. Picks up to 3,250. Two more to go in. Four again? Yes, drop zone four, please. Add it up. Go, 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 go. No. Ooh. Just slowed down on us, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. You're a little nudge. You've got a little nudge. Might that bring the double out? Yeah, hopefully. Come on. Yeah, it does. Yeah, lovely. Four counters drop in. Let's give you £200 for those four. Takes you up to £3,450. We can double it up because the double drops in. Another £200 takes you £3,650. And one more to go in then, Chloe. Drop zone four, please. Let's have drop zone four, please. Down on that right hand side. Settle. Ugh. Just not Just wanting to out. go to that side, is it? Not at the minute. No. We'll get it there though. Yeah, I hope Got so. Got a long way to go. Yeah, mm. okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the categories. So we're heading down this. Astronomy is next. Yes. Yep. Astronomy for how many? For three, please. Astronomy for three. Yeah. Which planet in our solar system takes approximately 225 Earth days to orbit the Sun? Venus, Mars, or Uranus? Are you into your astronomy? No, I've been brushing up a little bit. OK. Um, but I'm not quite sure on this one. I think I will go with... Um, Mars. Mars? Yeah. Should we light it up? Yeah. We're going to go with Mars, please. So we're looking for the planet that takes approximately 225 Earth days to orbit the sun. Is the answer Mars? Oh. It was Venus. Oh. Not to worry, let's go back to the categories. Yeah. So, literature next. Yes, for three, please. Literature for three? Yeah. Set during the late 18th century, the Scarlet Pimpernel features which revolution? French Revolution, Cuban Revolution, the American Revolution. Mm. You heard of the Scarlet Pimpernel? I've heard of it, but I've got no idea what it is. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, oh, now I'm trying to think about. The French Revolution about Les Miserables, the musical. So I know there was a French Revolution, and I'm just trying to think, was it at that sort of time? And I think it might be. So I think I'm just going to go French Revolution. Yeah? Yeah. Should yeah. we light it up? Yes, please. We're going with the French Revolution. Yeah. So trying to say 18th century. Les Mis is based around that sort of time, right? Yeah, I think so. Which is all about the French Revolution. French Revolution, yeah. So did the Scarlet Pimpernel feature in the French Revolution? Yes! Yay. Thank you! Well done! 
Right, three counters. Ah, Bob. Where do you want to go? Drop zone four, please. Let's have drop zone four. Let's get one on the right and get it moving. There yeah, you go. Lovely. Come on. Just what we needed. There Ooh. we go. Right to the edge of the shelf. Perfect. Oh, right, two more to go. Yep, drop zone four, please. Go. Four again. Thank you. Oh, another one that's going to be right Come on, on it. Come on. That was a clean drop. Yep. Wow. Over. We're over already. Very nicely Wait. done. And we'll take those three again. Three counters for you, Chloe. £150. Thank you. Takes us up to £3,800. One more to go in. Thank you. Drop zone four, please. Four again. Get it on that silver counter on the right, Chloe. Yeah, I hope and so. We are practically there. Here we go. Oh, yeah. go on, Chloe. Come on. Is it going to push the black counter? It is. Ooh. You're going to get really close. Really, Come really on. close. Ooh, Another on the edge. 50 pounds. Thank you. 3,850 pounds. Your jackpot counter is suddenly right on the tipping point. Right, let's go back to the categories. OK, we'll go for sport for three, please. Nice, I like yeah. it. Being brave. Sport for three. <laughs> In the ancient Greek Olympic Games, which of the following sports featured as part of the pentathlon? Swimming, cycling or wrestling? Hmm. Ancient Greek Olympics, you yeah, found? Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, not really a fan of sport at all, so this probably will be a complete guess again. Um, wrestling is probably the one that stands out as being a bit off-centre, so maybe it's in there for a reason. Well, I know swimming is done now in a triathlon. Yes. I think. Yes. Um, but was that done back then? I will go with... We'll go with swimming. Swimming? Yeah. We'll light up swimming, please. They certainly had sea, didn't they? Yeah, they swam in the exactly, sea. Yeah, yeah. Is the answer swimming? <laughs> it was wrestling. Wrestling. I should it have gone wrestling. off centre. I think oh. the modern pentathlon has swimming in now. Yeah. Uh, but wrestling, apparently, <sighs> the two athletes that won the previous four events would then wrestle. Not to worry, oh, we're well. still really close. Look, one yeah. count's in the right place and we're laughing. Let's have a look at what we've got left. Politics and TV. Politics for three, please. Politics for three <laughs> it is. In January 2020, which former Secretary of State for Education took a seat in the House of Lords? Justin Greening, Damien Hines or Nicky Morgan? Again, this will be another complete guess. <laughs> hmm. Um... Oh, do you recognise those politicians? No. OK. <laughs> so, I'll go for the middle. Middle one, Damien Hines. Damien Hines? Yeah. Right down the middle, we're going with yeah, Damien Hines. right down the middle. Let's see if you found the right answer. The former Secretary of State for Education, who took a seat in the House of Lords in January 2020, was it Damien Hines? Oh. It was Nikki Morgan. She became oh. Baroness Morgan of Coates. OK. Right, come down to television. Hopefully a bit better on TV. Uh, three counters, please. Right. TV for three. Which of these actors starred alongside Nicole Kidman in the 2020 psychological thriller The Undoing? Hugh Grant, Hugh Jackman, Hugh Dancy. Ooh, Ooh. A memory stirs. Oh. <laughs> OK. I think I remember seeing this, but I only know because I've seen it on Gogglebox. Right, so yes, thanks, of course. Thank you. I think, I hope I remember rightly, that it's Hugh Grant. Should we go Hugh Grant? Yes, We're going with Hugh Grant, yeah. please. Have you yeah. found the right answer? If you have, we've got three counters with just one drop away. I hope so. Is the answer Hugh Grant? Yes! yes. Well done. Thank I'm you. I'm singing it now. <laughs> uh, right, three counters for you, then. Thank you. Let's go drop zone four, please. Let's have four, please. Come on, then. One in the right place here, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. That is right on it. If that silver counter stays in line, stay Come in on. line. Come on. Is this your £10,000, Chloe? Please. Is Please. it going to go? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Amazing stuff. Oh, thank 
think I might cry. You can <laughs> cry. Carry on. £10,000. Oh, thank you. It's worth crying over, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels amazing. It's surreal. I don't think it's sunk in yet, and I don't think it will for a while, so thank you. Absolute pleasure. What are you going to do with it? Um, I'm going to spend it on some new costumes and put it into my career and as a singer, so... Yeah. Well done, Chloe. Thank you played you. a great game. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Well done. Thanks. Chloe had the machine dancing to her tune in the early rounds with more than £2,000 banked at the end of round one and then another 15 counters in round two set her up with an enormous lead that her opponents just couldn't catch in the head-to-head. -head. The jackpot landed in the perfect spot on the right-hand side of drop zone four. It took just seven counters for Chloe to coax it all the way over the edge and into the wind zone for an incredible 10 thousand pounds i'd say that's been a pretty good day chloe yeah not a bad day at all <laughs> not bad at all it's been lovely to play alongside you enjoy that money best of luck for the future as well thank you so there you go chloe's leaving with ten thousand pounds she sang to us all the way through and it's the machine that's singing to her now sending her home with ten thousand pounds surely not a bad tune that is it join us next time in the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on tipping points goodbye